Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Today, I'll be talking about Drumline. Now, I don't think I need to explain too much about the story because, one, it's very simple, and two, it wasn't made that long ago, so we're all very familiar with it. But for those of you who don't know, it's a story about a boy named Devin who just graduated high school and he's getting into college where he gets to do the one thing he loves, play the drums. In this case, on the drum line in the college band. Along the way, he meets a girl on the dance team that he likes. He has a lot of trouble with an upperclassman who's jealous of him because he's way better than him, and that's the truth. And after a lot of back and forth, they end up going to the big competition, and I mean a big competition, where they win. And that's basically the story. What makes it so good is the cast of characters, the story, and of course, the drums. The cast of characters is one of a kind. It stars Nick Cannon and Orlando Jones, and of course, Zoe Saldana. Nick Cannon was already previously known because he was a producer, kind of a small-time rapper, got around a lot on MTV and other shows. Orlando Jones was more famous for those 7-Up commercials, Make 7-Up Yours, we all know that. But this was the one that really kind of kicked off his acting career. And of course, for Zoe Saldana, I don't remember her being in anything before this, but if anything, this was the movie that really started her career as well. Because after that, it all went up. Obviously, with this cast of characters, you got a pretty good thing going because you got, in a way, two newbies and one veteran. And they're all doing so well together. Their interaction is absolutely perfect. For instance, the love interest between Zoe and Nick, they're, it's great. It's absolutely great because, you know, he's the kid who's got, basically, uh, he's got on easy street. While for her, she worked her way to get up there. But, you know, she does give him a chance and she does try to straighten him out in the fact that, you know, he doesn't have to have such a swelled head about things because, you know, it's not always that easy, and it's not going to always be this easy. you got to work to get what you want, and that's the truth. As for Orlando Jones with the rest of the crew, he's great. I mean, he tries to be a great leader. He tries to teach the kids how to entertain, how to educate. He tries to teach them everything he knows about music. And at the same time, you know, he is a little stuck in the 1970s with Earth, Wind, and Fire. Nothing wrong with that because they're a great group. But the thing is... It was one of those things that even he needed to learn a little something from the modern generation. Because up until the end of the movie, they had not won a battle of the bands in well over, I think, five years, I think it was. And that's one of the things I love so much about this movie, is the fact that the characters work so well together. And one of my favorite scenes is when Devin finally realizes that it's not all about him. And ironically, it comes from his enemy, if you will the upperclassman who hates his guts because he's better than him. It's what he tells Devin that I like the most when he says this, You're the best, Devin, but when you're out there, nobody hears you. They hear the band. One band. When it comes to a band, no truer words have been spoken. It's not just that one person. It's everyone. That's where it all counts. And he needed to learn that. But of course... It's nothing without those drums. I just love listening to those drums. Tap out their amazing beats. I really wish I could play that for you. It is that amazing. You can actually look it up online, so I suggest you do. But I also want to tell you this. If you've never seen this movie before, you really need to watch it. And you need to watch it very closely. So you pick up on all these moral aspects and all this great character interaction. It's really a great movie. It's one of a kind. Definitely one that everyone must see. So if you ever get the time, check it out. Believe me, you're going to love it. This is a movie fan, signing off.